All right, what's up everyone? We're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and we're here at the Pride 2023. We're on Davie Street, and we're about to find out if Pride has lost its soul or if it is very much still gayer than ever. Let's go find out. Holy f them. No problem. Hi. Hi. How are you? Old school pride yeah. versus new school pride. What are your thoughts on that? I like the old one. Why is that? They're not pretentious. There's no social media at that time. Right. So you right. have more interaction, you know. Yeah. You'll always hear like the division between like, you know, corporate involved pride and then like pride as a protest. Less involved with like branding and stuff like that. I think so. the big difference now is that I keep noticing that people don't seem to need the community to be as queer centric as it used to be. I see a lot of these kids that have never experienced some of the, gratefully for them, yes, some of the traumas that we have. There is not really much of a difference. Really? I think it's a lot more inclusive now. We're here to, to honor, appreciate those people who fight for our right for social e um, equality of LGBTQIA plus community. I think we take a lot more consideration of people of color, of people of different abilities, of people of different genders. Hello honey, how are you? Hi. Yeah. If I was gay, I would totally fuck that guy. How's your pride going so far? Shitty. Hello, young lady. So is this your first pride year or you've done no, it No, I have yeah. done it 10 times and I'll do it over and over again but because it brings diversity strong, really yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. steel. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's oh, go man. interview this guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Beautiful gentlemen, can we ask you guys a couple questions? All right, so we're here with a, a couple of beautiful naked gentlemen. Old school pride versus new school pride. Yeah. New school pride is boring. What yeah. about you, what do you think? What he said. Why is that? It used to be a lot more fun. I've been coming to this thing now for 25 years and they sterilized it about 10 or 12 years ago. Really? Because they wanted it to be a family friendly event. Hey, excuse me, pride isn't about family friendly, it's about kind of cracking some of the rules. How could it get better? I don't know. This Work interview sir. is yeah, getting yeah. way better. Yeah, whoa, yeah. Oh, sorry. Now that I have your attention, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from San Francisco visiting my friend. Oh, okay, and okay. Yeah. We're down there, we do it more wild. We yeah, still yeah. know how to do it down there, up here. So what keeps you coming? Uh, to Pride? Yeah. I don't know, I'm queer. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay, right yeah. on. Woo! Is there anything in particular that you remember in the old school Pride that you just love so much more than what's happening right I now? I was a participant. Oh, were you? I was like, you know, butt like naked, yeah. Team? I was like, part of it and I had fun with it. Now I don't, I just watch. Well, back then the, there were floats from a whole lot of the clubs and there were dancers on the floats and they had a good time and some of them were maybe a little underdressed. Yeah. Nude or, or mostly. When Pride I changed the rules, all of that went away. We come out here just to show that the rules they put in place that they claim are the law aren't the law. The cops don't care. And now it's all about corporate sponsorship and the dollars. Corporate pride. Why does WestJet have a float in Vancouver Pride? WestJet. I don't need matter. Target to tell me to care. be proud of myself. Target. What is the gayest thing that you've ever done? I'm gay. Coming down the street naked. <laughs> the gayest thing? I think everything I do is gay. But the gayest thing I did was like, uh, I think I was in San Francisco Gay Pride. Yeah. I put a costume in me. Yeah. And then dress up to the nine and I'm just, you know, uh, Just dancing. be super gay. Yeah, super yeah, yeah. Gay. Oh, that's great. You're, you're really giving back to the community by doing that. Yeah. Yeah. The gayest thing that you've experienced? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how to been quite a few experiences. There's quite a few experiences. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. In San Francisco, I see blowjobs going on at Pride festivals. And stuff. That's what they need to do here. Thank you for providing that. So live blowjob experiences. Can we have like a like a spin? Like, whoa, hello. All right. 
My honest opinion is I think like the gays are some of the best partiers in the world. They're very professional about it. They know how to party late. They don't go to bed early. And you know what? I respect that so much. My You're, middle name is Party. Is there such thing as like underground gay tunnels here? Or? Like a secret gay society? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. That's exactly... <laughs> that's a, we want to know. Grassroots partying underground. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no like Illuminati gay parties where people get sacrificed or anything? No. No, no. 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 We stop sacrificing yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Why, way longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but right, I, I like looking good. Day. Looking good. Yeah. I like one yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 No problem. Sorry, yeah. Let's see this. Oh my god, stop it. Hey, settle down, penis. Settle down. Take care. I'm so fucking hard right now. Hey, yeah, That's no, very yeah. small to my liking. <laughs> they say size doesn't matter. To me, size yeah. matters. You know what? It looks like you guys are doing it right. We have a lot of fun. Oh, I'm 76. Oh, wow. You and don't look 76. Nope. Hey, you know what? Hey, I totally would. I would. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, we'll get out of your way though. So anything? Yeah, 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 good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, For sure. yeah, no problem. Thank right, you. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you're you, welcome. Thank you. yeah, you're welcome. Take care. Fun this is a buffet, and uh, oh. gentlemen, help yourself. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, thank you. Hey, gentlemen, this brings me to my next question. So, okay. yes. is there... Is rape okay? <laughs> Check out the jugs on that one. It's a very special part of the parade. The bikes on dikes are doing laps. They're super interesting. Tits are out. It's beautiful. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyways, the tits are out. It's very artistic. Everybody's super happy, clearly. See, that's the thing. They all want it. You just got to get it out of them. Oh, thank you, darling. Everybody's gay. Yes. Hello, honey. Show us your tits. Old school pride versus new school pride. I just don't like the commercial part. Is there anything about this pride that you think they could have done better? No. Is there like some kind of Illuminati sacrificing going on or like, <laughs> do you know anything about that? I don't know too much about that, but Monica. at Stanley Park, oh, okay. there's like a place where people meet and like, just like have sex and stuff. In Stanley Park? Yeah. Actually? I yeah, see, I didn't know that. Actually. So people meet up in Stanley Park and they have sex. Yes. How do you know this? Uh, my friend took me there. Oh, and you saw it? I saw it. Oh, crazy. I wasn't part of it. I don't feel that comfortable. Right, right. But yeah. So you just observe people having sex. Yeah, they'd like go off into the bush and like yeah. find a spot and they yeah. do it and then And this is around Pride. All summer. It's kinda cool. Like well imagine, right? It's like kinda like, you know, you've been, you know, suppressed for so long and you know, this is your time to shine anywhere you want. Well like yeah. Stanley Park with the beautiful trees and like you yeah. know. Yeah. I was involved with Pride for 18 years. Okay, so who would have better yeah. talk to you than you? Yeah. In comparison to back then, up until now, what do you think, like, the, like, what's the major changes? This is not just a parade, this is sort of a visibility approach to get people involved in totally. what Pride is about. I love that it's gone Main Street. Like, so I was in charge of sponsorship for many, many years for Pride, and yeah. I was actually the one that was actually, I brought them in. You're the in cost, charge of bringing the big companies in? A lot of, a lot oh, of for them. For God's sake, yeah. why would you do that? Because the cost of Pride, actually, a lot of people don't yeah. understand how much it costs. It's over $200,000 just for fencing. And for toilets. Actually? Over $200,000. Right? So somehow accurate? they have to pay. So the community groups pay $50. Right. The corporates pay over 2000 And for me, I think if one kid sees a corporation drive by and go, I can work there because I can be my authentic self. Right. That's really important. Bring them in. You yeah, bring them yeah. in. What is the gayest experience you've ever Ever had. I just made out with a girl last night. <laughs> what? There you really? go. You did? I mean, no way. Who instigated it? Was it you or is she? No, like... she just grabbed my face and I was like, okay. That's so awesome. <laughs> Where's Beyonce? Sex is better with your ex. Come on. <laughs> little Asian man. You're so little. I love you. Work it, fit man. Woo! Hi, hey. Put out my fire, honey. Right here. Oh. I love Indians. I do. I love little Asians. They're so cute. You're a beautiful man. I love Indians, yes. I love Indians. I love second kissing. Oh, okay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That Indian guy really wanted it, eh? Like, he, he like really wanted it. Yeah. He's loving it. 
I love that Hispanics are gay. Yes, ho! Oh, we have the gay animals coming up. Hey, there he is. Hi, beautiful. You're fabulous. Stop it. Is it just me, or is this not gay enough? Happy Pride, honey. Look at those. Hi. The hot cheerleaders, right on. You, take it off. You, take it off. All of you, actually. Just take it off. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you. You're so beautiful. Look at the doggies. Oh my god. Look at this white lightning. Hey, hey, baby. Baby. Yes. Happy Pride. Yes. Happy Pride. Eh? Happy Pride. Oh my god. Amazing. So sweaty. I love it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, I need it. Yes. So, I figured I'd take a pee break at Pride, but nothing's coming out of my penis because I've done way too many Hello. Hi. Hello. In Vancouver. Yes, yes. it's okay. I yeah. had it in, I'm, I'm from Panama, and I had it there a couple of times in... A much bigger, broader community, right? Like, yeah, exactly, and all the people, it's just like so welcoming and, and, and so like, nice, yeah, exactly, totally. everywhere. Yeah. I totally love that. Yeah, yeah. I'm having fun. Yeah. Would you would you come back next year as well? Like or? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good for you guys. Honestly. Thank you. Happy, nice to meet you. Happy Pride love. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. I am fed. I can even feed it. Underground tunnels that we don't know about that's disagreeable. Oh my gosh, I wish. Like experiencing this year's Vancouver Pride, I quickly realized that it is still indeed super gay. Although some dislike the involvement of the corporate companies, they do play a significant role in marketing and raising money for the event. It's important to acknowledge their substantial contributions to making this an incredible large gay event, which helps it reach more people. Now does that change the message? Maybe so, but that reach comes with a price, so another method of funding may be needed, which I can't really speak to as I'm not familiar with the LGBT Queerific plus Double D's business operations. Maybe you know how this can be achieved. Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on the matter. And while you're at it, let me know if you think Pride has lost its soul. And if anyone has any information on the orgies that take place in Stanley Park in the summertime, please share it because I'd love to hear all about it. As for my personal opinion, whether Pride has lost its soul or not is still undetermined. But as a straight white man, I found Pride to be quite fun and inclusive. Everyone was super nice and easy to talk to. There seems to be a really special energy in the air during Pride. I'm not exactly sure how to describe the feeling, but it's definitely loving and outrageously gay. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit f***ed up, so I'm probably gonna get more f***ed up. Um, yeah, I'm f***ed up.